Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can properly shim your RC differentials. So let's do it. All right guys, we're going to do it in two simple steps. First step, what you need to do is you need to put this bevel gear inside the differential housing. So let's do it. I'm not going to use any shim at the moment. I'm just going to put it inside the differential housing. So let's do it. All right, it's in. Perfect. Now, I'm going to put this differential inside the differential casing as well, okay? Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to hold this bevel gear from outside, okay? Just like this, and check for the play in the differential. Look at this, see? You can also hear it. So there is some sort of play in the gear, in the crown gear, to be very precise. This means that you need to put a shim inside the bevel gear. So let's take it out. I'm going to use one shim at the moment. Just one shim. Now, hold it again and see if the play has gone. Okay, so it's minimized a bit, but it's still there, okay? So I think two shims will be perfect. So I'm gonna put another shim in the bevel gear. Right, so let's hold the bevel gear again. See, now it's minimized. Because you need a bit of play inside because that is a backlash in the gear and you need the backlash to allow the crown and bevel gear to move freely otherwise it will heat up and also it will damage the power train all right guys so now this is time for the second step and this is very important guys because this is where most of the users experience the clicking noise from their differentials and this is due to the lack of uh shimming in the crown gear okay so what you need to do you need to again place the uh, differential inside the housing properly like this and now that the bevel gear is in and the crown gear is in as well what you need to do is you need to hold the differential from these two points okay and just move it up and down okay like this and observe if there is any slight play you don't want any slight play here remember that okay if there is luckily this differential is perfectly shimmed and it does not need any shimming at the moment let me show you how you do it okay so at the moment there is no play but if there is play just get it out take this shim okay and put it right here just right here okay and you need to fit this shim inside the differential casing, okay? Like this. What it will do, it will automatically reduce the distance between the crown gear and the bevel gear, okay? So just, you're gonna move it a little closer. And that's exactly what you want if the differential is clicking. If it is not clicking, perfect. If it is not, if it, there is no play, that's perfect. But if it, there is any play, you need to put a shim here. You might need one, you might need two, depends upon the amount of clicking uh, and the amount of play there is in the differential. So once it's done, you're just gonna put it back, okay, with the washer, uh, with the shim, sorry, if it's necessary, and then observe again, and there shouldn't be any play here okay if there is no play perfect just fit it back so this is very simple guys this is what you need to do to properly shim your rc differential it's just a two-step procedure first do the bevel gear and then do the crown gear this is it for the video guys if you like it if it helped you please like it comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thanks